I want to show everyone that I am truly taking. Today I will induce a sting from this. I'm Alex, the host of The Great Outdoors. Inside of this capsule, I have a very interesting wasp species. This wasp is known as Trogomorpha trogomorphus. It is in the family of Ichinuman wasp, which is a parasitoid wasp. Parasitoid wasps are different than parasites because parasites utilize their host while their host is able to function and continue to live. Parasitoid wasp will inject their larva into a host and eventually the larva will lead to the demise of the host. Larva will eventually turn into this beautiful species. Now, parasitoid wasp or the family of Ichinuman wasp is a very large one with over 50,000 identified species of Ichinuman wasp alone and an estimated around up to 90,000 unidentified and identified species. So this is a huge family. It is in the order of Hymenoptera, just like many of the other Vespid wasps and wasps that we featured here on this channel. Now the Ichinuman wasp is not known for its very potent sting. In fact, I'm not sure that they possess any sting or venom at all, but they do have an ovipositor and they do inject their larva into prey items like other Hymenopteras. Today, I will attempt to induce a sting by this, what I consider to be harmless wasp species. This is in the order Hamanoptera, and it is another member to the family, which is a large family of wasps known as Ichinuman wasp. Now, interestingly, Ichinuman wasps have taken many shapes, sizes, and some of them are really odd looking. They're contorted. And they're actually some of the most unique and large wasp species in this area and around the world. They are very diverse and spread all over the world. Now, I'm going to try to induce a sting here today to see just how painful the Ichinuman wasp actually is. Now, one of the most interesting things I will note is that really bright yellow on the underside of his belly or her belly. And the reason I'm noting that is that that reminds me of a lightning beetle and however this insect does not actually possess bioluminescence but it is weird seeing that that has adapted that appearance maybe it's some sort of a attractant to attract prey like the lightning beetle but like i said let's go ahead and try to induce a sting and see just how painful that actually is comparable in size to what we show before as the guinea wasp. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab her before she does decide she can fly and we lose our ability. Oh, okay, I got her. All right, let's see if we can see any kind of stinger on that one. Now she hasn't actually, okay, I just saw a little stinger extri uh, extracting. Now I'm gonna try to approach her from the rear of her abdomen and let's see if she can stimulate that stinger to get it to come out. You know, I don't even see it. It's very odd. There, it's a very small stinger. Now, many Ichinuman wasps actually possess a very large stinger. This one has a very small stinger. Um, let's go ahead and try to induce a sting and see if it is a painful one. Now, hopefully, oh yeah, golly, oh it is painful, more painful than I anticipated. Now let's go ahead and do one more. Oh yeah, and she grabbed me. Wow, that was uh, shockingly sharp. That was, wow, and she excreted venom right there on the side of my capsule. That was impressive. I did not expect that at all. Um, not from this species. It drew blood. There's a small speck of blood right there where she stung me the second time, I believe, and she stung me twice. Uh, so, wow, hopefully, I did not anticipate that. That was incredible. Um, don't ever underestimate even the little guys, because they do have potential to do you harm. Um, however, so far, not severe pain or anything. It's weird because there is blood coming to the surface now. I can see it. I'm going to extract her from the capsule. Okay, I got a hold on her. 
and then we're gonna go ahead and place her on my forearm right here now I've already received one sting from her but the camera angle was horrible so I want to show everyone that I am truly ah golly that was worse than I expected all right she's ready to go I imagine she's probably like dude gosh that was a very sharp pain oh my goodness this uh this wasp species is more painful than I anticipated now the initial pain so far on the first two stings I received are um, not severe by any means but very sharp uh, immediate uh, sting or burn um, I will um, monitor the progress of the sting and the swelling so I can let everybody know what that is um, you may be able to see already where the first initial sting was there I tried to place it in the same area roughly I believe it to be right there or even possibly right there but there's three stings in all and I'm sure that you will be able to see the swelling here shortly so this is once again the itch Newman wasp and let's go ahead and let it go so it can go on its way and continue to produce young and go on with this life cycle but okay so she is free to go this is roughly two minutes into it everyone wants to save the planet I know we can do it we, we are, are the many Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the colony. colony. Together we have the power to improve our planet. Don't ever underestimate it. The tools are right in front of us. It's your heart and mind at your fingertips. And now we have the connections. We're building a team with a mission. All about conservation. Communication around the earth only takes seconds. Together we will change this planet. All this talk about extinction. So many good reasons to listen. Our existence. Grow a garden and reduce your dependence. Put native trees and flowers in it. Bees, Bees and butterflies, butterflies pollinate them. Seeds fall and create new plant seedlings. These, These plants take in carbon and create oxygen. That is a step towards a solution. That is your power in action. Making a difference, you have our support, friend. Thank you for every moment you listen. If you choose to, thank you for your subscription. I put everything into this content. It's our one and only planet. All the support, I truly appreciate it. Your love alone makes it worth it. I've been stung over a dozen times. I'm not sure how many different places. By over a dozen different species, most with similar reactions. We must respect these bees for pollination. A little sting that is nothing. That's just their form of protection. We live in a colony. Are we really that different? New videos here every Thursday. That is my commitment. If you have the power to do something positive, you have the responsibility to do it. Well, I said it. I guess I'm obligated. I convinced myself and I'm excited for the changes. We need to be self-aware and stop waiting for legislation. Because growing more food means less pesticides to produce it. Which means more pollinators like bees will not be affected. Growing our own food means an opportunity for you to teach a child what real food is. Because growing food for you means less fuel for transporting it. More food for you means less greenhouse gases. More food for you means less pollution and fertilizer in our water systems. Welcome to the great outdoors, friends. Let's make a difference. Storm shutters are starting to go up as residents remain on high alert. Hurricane Dorian nearly as wide as Ohio. The threat has customers in South Florida jamming stores, buying supplies to keep them safe and sound. 